Should Wesley Snipes return as Blade? No. He was the, wait, wait. He was the standout. <laughs> the standout of all the cameos. The yeah. biggest cheer in the whole movie is Wesley Snipes. They ever going to be all three times. One Blade. That got the biggest re response and when you see him in the movie who else could play blade but him it's not it's not that i don't like the idea i just feel like you know he can't do it anymore man i mean he did a, he, he did it for that movie not for two hours but, like yeah, a logan, I, yeah yeah a logan-esque approach well, or, 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 or a logan That's ryan reynolds right yeah, yeah there it the is ryan reynolds, uh, this is his goodbye he never thought he'd get this let him get this. Let it be done. And just write Mahershal with a goddamn movie where he kills vampires. Stop trying to put his daughter in it. And a, you know what I'm saying? Just give us a, a new, younger Blade movie and be done with it. How hard is it to write a Blade movie? Easy. Like, I'm, I'm it's sorry, not. It's they not have hard. to put it ideology can. in it. That's why. But if you're saying they're course correcting, then it should be very easy to just put it to techno music and have him kill vampires. Well, and uh, Vince Vaughn recently, uh, did y'all see his appearance on Hot Ones? He didn't yes, interview. Yes, love that. I love and that. He talked about yeah, he talked about, yeah, and yeah. I think this kind of relates to that. He's saying the problem is that they just overthink it, and it's just uh, kind of alluding to just this, they're scared of taking these leaps, or they want to keep their, make sure they don't lose their job, or taking certain risks or something. Yeah. Um, or and just, someone's saying Blade doesn't fit the MCU. I'm sorry, Cook. She, she, the first time I ever yeah. heard of Blade was in Spider-Man cartoon when he showed up. I was what the hell? Who is this? And then I learned about the character, and then Wesley Snipes got the movie. My point is, he could fit into the MCU just fine if you write it the right way. But by the way, I love the fact that Ryan Reynolds thinks like us. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yes. like I feel like he does get it. He gets I feel it. He's like a at fan. the end of the day, That's Ryan why. Reynolds gets it, man. And all those he's jokes. He's a fan himself. And like Henry Cavill, too. They get it. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah. Well, let's read this tweet from Ryan Reynolds. Uh, there is no Fox Marvel Universe or MCU without Blade first creating a market. He's Marvel Daddy. Please retweet for a Logan-like send-off. That okay. oh, yeah. <laughs> so could they do a Logan-like? And maybe they combine they the project that Mahershal Ali is doing um, with with. Is Wesley. Chris Christopherson? I always mess up his last name. He's still alive. Chris Christopherson. He played. Uh, uh, oh, Whisper. The first Whistler. Yeah, thank you. Is he still Whisper. alive? Yeah. I think he passed. I mean, did he pass? Ryan Either Reynolds way, they could still do is, it. Ryan Reynolds is uh, uh, basically exerting his power with this. He realizes he will have the, the biggest R rated movie ever, box office wise. The biggest yes. Marvel movie since what? Uh, Spider Man No Way Home. In fact, mm -hmm. it might beat Spider Man No Way Home at this pace. It, it's the box office uh, theatrical needs it. Theatrical business needs it because more people going to see Deadpool Wolverine means more people are going to see other movies that are in theaters at the same time. So I think he, this is a flex from, from Ryan. What do, what do you guys think? I think he's also the great marketing yeah. too. I mean, he's a genius marketer. His, yeah. his, his out of the box marketing we witnessed in the first two Deadpool movies. Right, and I think this is he's going to the people. What's, what's Wesley <laughs> in his seventies? Clint was doing in the line of fire in his sixties. He's jacked. He's with Renee Ruse. I'm just saying. Wesley's sixty one. I think he's sixty one oh, or sixty two. He 61. could do a, oh, wow. a Logan old at all. Type. Yeah, be like he, he looks great, especially you know for his age. He's in, still yeah. in good shape. You can tell. Now again, that's the question: Can he do it for two hours? Can he do a full movie as the lead? You know, that's the question that I would have. But I mean, I would love to see it, and I think it would be box office gold at this point with the Mahershala Ali situation. I think this would make more money than Mahershala. Oh, uh, could, well, make could he be in that so, movie? Like as you know, a mentor ish? Be, yeah, Blade on Blade. Y'all think? I mean, yeah. Mahershala Ali's fifty though. Like that's the thing; they're going after guys. Yeah. For a yeah, they need to get somebody in their 30s. Over the edge, <laughs> yeah. essentially. And I'm like, I, really I should be going younger, nice, but I think he could come back for a great send-off. He'd really By the time it. they reset everything, it's going to be the 2030s. <laughs> yeah. I've, been yeah. wanting, <laughs> they do. Yes. I've been wanting a proper like uh, mentor uh, ship, like a Batman Beyond situation. I've been wanting that kind of theme because I don't really think we've gotten it in, on the big screen that much in, in the superhero realm. And I think the that, that could yeah. be a good uh, fit or Oh yeah, Zoro. 
just so that was almost yeah that was great and i love that i think that dynamic could really work in the comic book realm i don't know why we haven't gotten i'm still waiting for batman beyond and i thought that was such a wasted opportunity for michael keaton um so i don't know if that situation could apply here i don't know they did it with batgirl like that's what they were doing with batgirl is the batman beyond but for batgirl and it was so atrocious warner brothers decided to write it off i'm so happy that peter did that so happy also a couple couple quick things um also uh uh max didn't uh have the uh, cape crusaders show there's yeah. a reason they rejected it it's on amazon dumped all in right. one day oh, but I'll tell you that. <laughs> wesley snipes at 61 could run for president in 20 years <laughs> technically yes right? and you'd have Dude, a watch passenger happen. 58 Come on. i'm oh, all yeah. in favor of this i'm all in i'm all in yeah well you just yeah, I like the idea that it, it yeah. again yeah. like yeah, Just don't no, overthink yeah. it. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I was just going to say, just don't overthink it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. The reason That's why the I problem. said what, what has it been? It's been five years, right? It's been five years since they announced Mahershala as Blade. Yeah. And here we are five years later, and they're still writing the script. They still don't have a director. Uh, you know, they've fired two directors or let two directors walk. They've let multiple Four writers keep changing. Yeah, it's it. like, OK, yeah. you guys are way overthinking this thing. It's Blade with cool weapons, killing vampires. The end. You don't really have to do much more than that. And that's what West like, in the space of time, because what it, um, I think the, the entire Blade trilogy spans, what, like six years from 98 to 2004. So you're talking about in six years, they made three Blade movies. And in five years, they can't get one off the ground. They can't even get a script. That's insane to me. That is freaking insane. It was overthought. And you know what? Here's the terrible thing. Blade was going to go on for at least five movies, but David S. Goyer killed it because he directed and screwed around with it. And Wesley Snipes got so fed up. He's like, I'm not doing this character if David S. Goyer is in it again. And Fox was lost. They had no clue what to do because they were like, these are the incredibly successful cheap movies that we're making. Right. And all of a sudden one guy just decides David S. Goyer, he puts in Jessica Biel, Ryan Reynolds. Cause you know, they were kind of rising at the time and then he's, and then a third of the movie is just M- MF bombs. They're That's talking it. through post-it <laughs> notes and he's signing everything blade. Like, yeah, that got like into a when weird they production. Had an argument over Wesley Snipes, not wanting to open up his eyes. <laughs> like that's when you know things are not it's, listen, so not every film production goes smoothly sometimes a horrible film production ends up becoming a great film but it's uh, more often than not a horrible film production comes a horrible film blade trinity kind of kind of met that remark and that's yeah. what's hurting i, I well, think well in all fairness to wesley snipes was going through some weird stuff during that time as well <laughs> the taxes <laughs> yes right. Right. but we yeah. knew about all this drama between him and ryan which i guess they played up if you hear what wesley was saying that they've played up that they don't like each other but that everyone knew it which made the jokes and the return so much more special <sighs> yeah at least yeah. for me personally i know it's a lot of if you put a lot of emotional attachment to it, then that's what elevates it, at least for me. It's like, oh, you know, so good what's to see funny is, uh, out of all the uh, Marvel properties, Blade is the easiest to write. The easiest. Do they want to make him well, in a road trip movie. movie with his daughter and the daughter's friends, and then that got put out? Still the daughter, because the daughter's still the key to everything, where they're trying to get the daughter's blood, and I have no idea what they're doing. Just make him versus vampires. What, wasn't there a Blade series? Like, uh, yeah. Yeah, this was yeah. a long time ago. Yeah. Wasn't nope. it something similar like that? I never watched it because Wesley Snipes is my blade. Yeah, yeah I, I, I never saw yeah. it. Yeah, I heard it wasn't old. I just never it. watched it. Uh, I think it only lasted a season. But and then but- everyone thought he showed up in uh, Wolverine, <laughs> but when you zoom in, it's actually race swapped uh, Bullseye from the Ben Affleck uh, movies because you could see the scar and the Bullseye scar and the weapons and all that. So, so are we only all one blade. in favor of this? Everyone, like this is a good it. idea. If- I'm down. Yeah. I'm for, down. An, an old man, for an old man Logan type film, yes. But, yeah. but for me, the reason why I said no in the beginning is because I look, if they're really trying to start over, if they're really trying to, you know, set the MCU right, it might confuse people to have Wesley Snipes playing Blade again. Yes. But if you because tell a good story, it confuses nobody. Because even right now, <laughs> yes, exactly. there, are two, there are now two official universes in the MCU. There's the Deadpool universe, which is like what 1065, and then there's the 616 Marvel. They are still considered right. separate at this oh, moment. 10005, which apparently is the same Earth at the end of Marvels. 
where Maria Rambeau ends up and there's Beast yeah, and the yeah. Fox. Photon. So it's, it's the Fox, it's the Fox universe, okay. universe versus the okay. MCU universe. Oh, this well, is too MCU confusing Fox to it's keep confusing, up with. Exactly. Yes. Because 616 books, is the comics. <laughs> for comics, it makes total sense for there yeah. to be this like grand multiverse. Actually, it, it, it rarely makes sense in comics too. 